let's talk about what happens when you put Will Smith in a movie about orcs and elves and a magic wand. I think you get the latest Netflix hit movie. This movie, <laughs> this movie, um, hey guys, I am here to talk about the latest Netflix movie, Bright. Um, Bright is a very interesting, interesting movie. If you like Lord of the Rings, if you like World of Warcraft, if you like elves, if you like orcs, if you like Will Smith. If you like buddy cop movies, this movie has it all, and it is all for you. So, Bright stars Will Smith as a black cop who is racist against orcs. This is what he stated in an interview when he was talking about the movie. Um, Bright stars Will Smith as Daryl Ward, Joel Edgerton as Nick Jacoby, in a world set where fantasy creatures live side by side with humans. This is like after some war between the orcs, elves, and humans. Um, and pretty much everyone is still divided. Um, in this particular world, we still have the Hispanics, we still have blacks, we still have whites, we still have Asians, but this is a fantasy world. So mixed in, we have orcs, elves, even fairies. We have magic users, and magic users are called brights. Being a bright is pretty much an outlawed thing. So you can be an orc and be a bright. You can be an elf and be a bright. You can be a human and be a bright. You will still be considered dangerous because only brights can use wands in this world. Anyone else that uses a wand that is not a bright. Yeah, not pretty. Um, Joel Edgerton and Will Smith um, are the two cops that are forced to work together. Will Smith's character, Ward, really does not want Edgerton's character, Jacoby, in the car with him. Um, but because of the city's Orc Inclusion Initiative, he has to deal with Jacoby being there. That's kind of like um, affirmative action. When you have a company that's mostly white people and you, or mostly black people and you have to have the other race in there for diversity and blah 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 blah. blah. All that good stuff. Um, like I said, it's not a normal buddy cop movie. Um, now we've seen Will Smith playing just buddy cop movies where it's just no supernatural elements whatsoever, like Bad Boys, Bad Boys too. We've seen him do the old buddy cop scenario with movies like Men in Black and the Men in Black franchise. Um, I've never really seen him in a fantasy movie like Bright. Bright was awesome. I mean, Bright makes me forgive After Earth. Like, really. I forgive you for After Earth Will Smith. I really do. Um, now, 
if you don't recognize Joel Edgerton, the guy that plays Jacoby, here are a couple of films that he played in before playing in Bright. Um, it comes in night. He played Paul. That came out in 2016. Loving. He played Richard Loving. That came out in 2016. That's who I recognized him from when I looked up the research for this film. It's pretty awesome. Um, Midnight Special. He played Lucas. That came out in 2015. Exodus, Gods and Kings. He played Ramses. The Great Gatsby, he played Tom Buchanan. Zero Dark Thirty, he played Patrick Squadron Teen Leader. That came out in 2012. Um, and for those of us who love Star Wars, he starred in episode 2 and 3 of the Star Wars prequels as Owen Lars. Wow. So, Bright is a very interesting movie, and I love the movie. I love the premise of the movie. Um, it seems to talk a lot about race and culture, and um, it talks a lot about race and culture and tolerance. Something that I'm not sure if that's what the movie was going for, but it's something that happened in the movie, in the film. And it seemed like a very important lesson. And I think that's part of the charm of the movie. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, because you have the human race who are racist and scared of the orcs. And you have the elves who are kind of the higher up people. They kind of run everything. Kind of like politicians run America. Just little touchy subject right there. Um, it takes place in the heart of Los Angeles and you see that people are doing a lot of the things they did back in the 90s during the LA riots and race wars and stuff like that. The cops are doing it to the orcs. So you see a lot of racial tension. You see a lot of tension between people and orcs and people who support orcs and all this other kind of stuff. And that's like some commentary that is like real true to today stuff. I mean, you know, Black Lives Matter. I mean, in the beginning, Will Smith basically hits a fairy for being his bird feeder and he says, fairy lives don't matter today. Come on. All magical creatures' lives matter. So, during the course of the film, they end up in a shootout with a guy that is in a building. In the building, they find um, that a bright or a magic wielder is there, and they have a wand. And they find several bodies that are charred and blown up because they tried to use the wand, and the wand said, no. Um, like I said before, being a bright is kind of a legal thing. Um, they meet up with this elven girl who is deemed a traitor by these other dark elves who are trying to bring back the Dark Lord that was defeated in the wars that were fought 3,000 years ago. Um, and it all centers around this wand. Now, a magic wand, if you can use it, you'll be able to grant wishes of other people. That's some serious stuff. Um, they run into several people who want the wand. Um, Ward ends up killing a bunch of people in his department because they see the wand, they get greedy, and they decide that they're going to do some pretty illegal stuff to get it. Um, they fight off this group of Puerto Rican gangsters pretty much for the same reason. They want the wand for themselves. And they have to fight off ultimately this group of elves that the wand actually belongs to, but they really don't need the back because they just want to cause chaos and destruction upon the world. They're also running from the feds. Um, 
which happen to be the regulators of the magical community in this movie. Um, but if you want to see a creative buttercup movie that has commentary that is very significant for this day and age and this time, you need to go onto Netflix and check out the movie Bright. Um, and for my little rating scale right here, I'm going to give Bright a 5 out of 5. It was a really, really good movie. It was a deep movie. If you watch it with the sense of um, knowing that it's not just a buddy cop movie, it's not just a fantasy movie, but it's a movie that is actually significant and relevant to today's time period, but has these other elements on top of it, then you are really going to enjoy this movie. If not, whatever. Don't watch Bright 2 when it comes out later on this year. Um, but as for me, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go watch it again because dang it, that was a good movie. So pop some popcorn, sit back, relax on the couch, grab a blanket, and go watch Bright on Netflix. It's a very awesome movie. Just remember, it's rated TVMA, and there are a lot of words that your kids don't need to be hearing. So be sure to watch it after they go to bed, or they go to school, or send the grandma's house for the night. Don't let your kids watch Bright. Not yet. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there they do not need to say. Um, but I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Comment down below if you've seen Bright. If you're looking forward to Bright too. What you think about Bright. If you don't want to see Bright. If you just love Will Smith. Or Joel Edgerton. Let me know. Right down there. Down. Down. Down there. there in the comments section. While you're down there. Click the subscribe button. Because I make new movie reviews every Wednesday. And I come up with skits and rants and things sporadically. Um over time and hit the bell so you can get a notification whenever I upload anything absolutely anything on this channel in the description there's a link to my vlog channel if you want to see behind the scenes action of what goes on in my daily life I mean I do have a life people I, I have a very busy life sometimes um, and also 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 um, while you're down there, check out my Patreon page and help support this channel, which also helps support the vlog channel. Because we need more love in here, right? Check out my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, for more behind the scenes looks at my life and things that are going on in the production company and in just everyday things. Um... And I will see you guys next time. I'll see you on the vlog channel. And I'll see you on this channel next week for another movie review. Be kind. Be brief. Be awesome. Love you, Wonderland. Till next time. Pop that popcorn, baby. I just want to make one more note. The song Home from the Bright soundtrack. Oh my god, that is stuck in my head. Along with like some other songs. But yeah, definitely. That is stuck deep in my head like right there in my head wow go check that out too